Rocks fam, hope you guys are doing great. I have not been filming videos recently because I have been like super just overwhelmed with um, spreading myself way too thin. And I feel like I should do a video about this soon because I finally figured out, I think, a way that is going to fix all of that for me. Um, as a business owner being in and out of the office and being like pulled in a million different directions every day, it's not conducive to creating like good work or getting creative and just being able to like lose yourself in that process, which is like what has always been so rewarding and fun for me as an artist. I got a weird hair up my butt today to color my hair and to do a Halloween look. So we're gonna create a Halloween look that I don't really know what it's gonna look like just yet. You do, because you've seen the thumbnail. I was inspired by uh, Lauren Rower. I don't actually know how to say her last name. You should check her out on Instagram if you haven't already. The way she edits her photos is really beautiful. And I also love she, how she creates these like monochromatic looks. And so every time I see her look, I'm like, oh, I wanna do something similar to that. Like I just love the way that it looks. And I thought today would be a cool day to do that. So um, I've seen these little, uh, devil horns on Amazon Prime for like $10 and I was like that's a cool like little costume thing because all you have to do is really like do up your makeup make your hair look cute or put on a wig and throw those on and like you've got a little costume and nobody knows what you are but it doesn't really matter because it's cute we're gonna color our hair today I was thinking I was gonna go back to like a pink but um I I don't know. I think that, I think we're gonna do something different. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out on my hair because it is more of a yellowy golden blonde. Whereas with the pink, it kind of lends itself to that because it's like a salmon-y kind of pink. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with Purple Rain and Girls Night by my brand Arctic Fox, which is available at Sally Beauty Supply. And I'm also gonna be using some Sally Beauty Supply products within this video um, to do my hair. Uh, no, this is not sponsored. They just sent me those products. So I'm just gonna mix up my color. I'm gonna do a little sample uh, strand or a test strand down in here to see how it's kind of taking and decide if I need to darken it up a little bit. That's always the best thing to do. It even says on the bottle to do a test strand. So I'm always confused when people are like, I like put this on my hair and I have dark brown hair and it's not doing anything. And I'm like, well, first of all, you're supposed to bleach. Second of all, did you do a strand test? Cause if you did, you would know that that wasn't gonna work. Okay, I have all these tinsel in my hair too, um, which I've been loving. You, a lot of you have been asking me where I've been getting it. I was testing out samples for Arctic Fox, but it's been so long that I just have been getting them from my original source, which is this place on Amazon. So I will link you guys to that um, in the description box below. They are stuck into my hair extensions. They're sandwiched in with my hair extensions, which is how they stay in. Otherwise, you have to have them tied in by hairstylist, which kind of, it's a process. It takes a while. So you better be prepared to sit in the chair for a while. Hydration is good. I have this pimple under my chin that is like so painful. That's like not a good spot for pimples. You know what I mean? So first I'm gonna take Girls Night. This is a very pastel, really pretty lavender that I created. Um, so as you can see, if I can get this off, um, it is really, really light. Your hair has to be really light for this. So I have a feeling I'm gonna have to darken it up a little bit with some purple rain. I don't have any gloves. Why didn't I bring any gloves down? So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna add a touch of purple rain just right off the bat because I'm almost positive this isn't gonna be dark enough. Just based on my experience. So this is what we have. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure if this is gonna be dark enough. We're gonna do a test strip and see what it looks like. Typically, if you're coloring your hair and you see any yellow still peeking through, it's not dark enough. Gonna work this into the hair. Actually, it looks pretty good. It's definitely gonna have a purple tint to it, as you can see. Just because I do want it to last a little bit longer and just be a tiny bit more purpley, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a smidge more purple rain. Oh shit. Purple rain just went somewhere in my studio, not sure. That's what we have. It's not that much darker, but you know. Ah, we're just gonna start from the bottom. Arctic Fox is a very thick formula. We did this so that you could work with it really easily. And it's really awesome for color melts and it's super, super conditioning for your hair. But one thing you definitely need to do is you're gonna want to work in small sections so that you can make sure that the hair is fully, fully saturated. And as you can see, my natural hair is, that's the darker purple right there, is taking the color 
a lot darker. The top of my head I'm doing last, and so the color will be sitting on there a less amount of time. Don't worry <laughs> if your natural hair through your extensions is a little bit darker. Just barely made the whole thing before I ran out of color. Okay, my hair is purple. It's got a nice purple tint, loving this. We are gonna go ahead and heat protect my hair. This is very important. I never do any heat styling or blow drying my hair without protecting my hair. So today I'm gonna be using the Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray. You can do this actually before you even blow dry. So this works for damp hair and dry hair. It is cruelty free and you can also get this at Sally's. I'm gonna be avoiding the, um, my roots because I don't want this on my roots because it will weigh my hair down a bit. So I'm gonna work this through. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. A little bit goes a really, really long way, so don't use a lot. It's so weird that the tips of my hair are holding onto the color more because typically the, your tips are the most porous and they will not hang on to color at all. So that is so random. Today I'm gonna to be using this guy. This is the Babyless Pro Titanium. This is pretty cool thing. So look, you can use this as a straight, I love this for traveling because you it's like three in one. You can use this as a straightener, but then with this little guy on the side, you can lock it and use it as a curling iron or a waver. So a lot you can do with this. So this is heating up right now. And I'm gonna keep it closed today because I'm gonna use it as a, um, to curl my hair. I'm gonna pin part of my hair up so I can make this faster. I'm going back through and using the straightener portion to curl some of this so I can have some tighter curls, not like super tight. Gives a nice wave that way too. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that works incredibly well. Wow, this thing works so freaking well. The outside doesn't work as good as I would hope that it would. It just doesn't get hot enough, I don't think. But the fact that this works so freaking well for creating like nice curls, and I mean, that's awesome. And the more you turn it, the more tighter of the curl you're gonna get. So you could just, the more you turn it like that, the tighter it's gonna be. My hair is freaking curled to perfection. I'm gonna go ahead and put my little devil ears on, but not style it quite yet. I'm just gonna put this back so I can do my makeup. Now while we do some of the makeup, a bit of the hair can fall because this isn't quite as curly as I wanted it to be. Actually, though I'm really digging it, so maybe I changed my mind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my eye area with the Huda Beauty Cake Powder. And I'm doing my eyes first because I'm anticipating a bit of fallout. I'm putting like a lot of like pigment on my eyes. I'm gonna try out one of the Huda Beauty um, little eyeshadow palettes. The last run-in I had with one of these didn't end well. Um, it just didn't work for me. It was like really, really patchy. And I, I tried multiple colors in the palette. So hopefully this one does us better. This is the Ruby Obsessions and it is really, really pretty. It comes with a lot of different pretty colors. Ooh, so far so good. Gonna go ahead and go in with a Luxie Beauty Brush. Uh, this is 227. I do have a code for Luxie. I use these brushes, Morphe, and my Walmart favorites, Royal Brushes slash Moda Brushes for pretty much everything. Now we're gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm gonna take that, fill that in the crease area, and then bring it upwards. So far so good, I am nervous. Reds are difficult. Take the same exact style brush, but just a clean one. I'm just going to start blending this out. And I'm just gonna keep building this up. Pretty impressed with this palette so far. No disappointments, knock on wood. Going in with my ColourPop No Filter Foundation. This one's in medium 85. Come on, is there any left? Just a little bit more of that. I'm gonna also add a little bit of light six. The pumps on these aren't like the best, but I don't even care because maybe I'm just really low on the foundation, honestly. I've been using this stuff like every day. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Farsali Skin Tune Blur as a bit of a primer. Oh, it's like refreshing. It smells like cucumbers. Next, I'm taking Flower Beauty. Uh, this is Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. 
And this one is an L and Fair. I used this the other day and actually really liked it. A lot of tapping makes everything better. Marvelous, darling. I'm gonna line my waterline with Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Lip Pencil in Wonderland. And this has never been used. If it had, I'd probably maybe clean it and then put it on. So just make sure you clean it off before you stick it in your eye. Taking a Rollet and Langnickel brush. This is a smoky eye brush. I'm just going back to the red that we've been using in the palette. And I'm going to work this in to the lip liner I just laid down. For a little bit of highlights on my um, entire face actually, <laughs> I'm gonna be using, you guys have probably heard me talk about this palette before, I absolutely love this palette. So we're gonna go with kind of like a pink highlight to play off the reds. Um, this is the Duo Highlight Palette, nine color palette from BH Cosmetics. The highlight in this palette is amazing, like, awesome and this palette is so affordable i'm gonna link it in the description box in case you want to get your hands on it before she gone so i'm gonna take a little bit of this guy right here double whammy and i'm gonna work that onto the brow bone going in with a little bit of the one next to it too called double time which has a bit more of a purpley pink hue to it i'm laying that over top i'm gonna go back in with our red and just make sure that these are blending together well. I'm gonna take this little brush, this is a Juvia's Place brush that doesn't have any uh, label on it. And I'm gonna use this in the inner corner. That looks so freaking pretty next to the reds. I'm putting on a little bit of mascara. This is the mask, the uh, Smashbox mascara. It's called the Super Fan Fan Out Mascara. I think her name's Superwoman. This one's getting a little clumpy on me. It's one of my favorites, but it's probably not the best to wear when you're gonna put false lashes on too, because you don't want your own lashes to stand out too much. I'm like really obsessed with the, the pink with the red. It's real nice. I'm gonna use some of my favorite lashes. These are Pure Lashes in Flirt. These are completely um, synthetic. I love the way they feel on my eyes. These are some of my absolute favorite lashes. The band is super malleable and it doesn't hurt your eyes or anything. And I do have a discount code if you guys ever wanna try these out. These are some of my favorites. Like look how, look how much that moves around. Like it's just perfect. While my lashes are getting tacky, I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. I decided I'm pulling the red down a little bit more down here just to be a little bit more dramatic, but feel free to pull this down as much as you like if you're recreating this look. I'm gonna try this brand new brow product by Pure Cosmetics. This is Arch Nemesis 4-in-1 Dual Ended Brow. Ah, you know what's so funny? Literally, like, I would say like three weeks ago, I was saying, <clears throat> I was saying it would be so cool if you didn't have to choose between this kind and this kind so you could have this to draw little hairs but then this to shape your brow out and my prayers were answered. Here we go. And then on the lid it's got this little guy. I guess this one's, this is called light. That's the actual shade. So far so good. This looks pretty good. I feel like I need a bit darker to shape that out a little bit more for me but luckily I have one here. So this one is medium. I'm gonna try this one out. This looks like way darker though. This seems to be working pretty well. This pencil is like super thin, so this works real well for drawing in little hairs. I like those. Now for a bit of highlights, I'm gonna go back in with Double Time right here, which is the pink one. And this is a, a new collection um, from Moda Brushes, which is owned by Royal Brush. I'm also taking a bit of Top Notch from this palette, which is the really light pink one, and I'm adding it in here. And I'm pretty much just putting highlight all over my entire face, as usual. From the Morphe 8C Cool Pro Blush Palette, I'm gonna be going in with Queen right here. This is another brush from Moda Brushes. Taking a little bit of this blush shade up onto the forehead, almost kind of like using it like contour slightly. Using a Moda angled shadow brush, I'm just gonna pick some of that up on there and just contour my nose. 
I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with Wonderland. Again, this is what we use for the waterline. You can touch that up if you need to, but let's go straight in. Oh wait, first I'm gonna put a little foundation over. For this, I want my lips to look giant and rounded off, so I'm gonna really overdraw. I'm gonna go back to our highlight palette. I'm gonna go in with Double Time, and this is a Royal and Langnickel Mini Flat Smudger. I'm just going to smudge out the lipstick just a little bit. This feels so wrong on so many levels. Like, you always try and keep your lip liner like so smooth and straight, and I'm just like smudging it the F out. This feels so wrong. Then I'm gonna go in with Top Notch, which is the lighter highlighter. I'm gonna blend that out even more. We have an interesting effect going on. <laughs> gonna go in with the Too Faced lipstick in Too Too Hot. This is from their birthday collection, so it's kind of old school looking, super cute. Gonna fill this in. I feel like I'm my Kusar painting now. <laughs> and on top of that, so we can get even more glamorous and glitzy, I'm gonna go in with a two, the Too Faced uh, Ruby Ripe. What is this? Um, Comfort Lip Glaze. This is from their new Tutti Frutti collection. And I'm just gonna put this right on top. Now taking a look at this, I'm gonna actually deepen up my blush just a tiny bit. This is a Morphe G39 brush, by the way. Now let's go ahead and fix the hair up a bit. We've got some crazy fun hair going on right now. I'm gonna tease some of this up so it's even bigger. And we shall place our ears. One last thing that I decided I wanted to do is add some like little lashes. I want my lashes to look bigger on the bottom, but I don't feel like sticking any on there, so I'm just gonna draw some on. This is the Fenty Beauty um, eyeliner in Longwear Liquid Eyeliner, uh, cause I'm black. Make this face, cause it helps. Get your little wrinkles out of there. Ah, oh, where's the lid? I'm also gonna use my little milk makeup stamp and I have this darker freckle that always peeks through. I'm just gonna use a little heart one and pop it right on there. All right, I'm gonna have to fill that bitch in. We are done, that is the final look. I didn't really know exactly where this was going, but here we are. I think it turned out super cute, super easy look to do. I, this is really fun, I'm, I'm like, can I just wear that? Can we do this with a nude lip? I'm not sure, we're gonna find out. Cause I like this. Oh, I got something on my teeth. Cute, let me sit here and talk this whole time. Totally had something in my teeth. It's fine, I forgive you. I would never do that to you. Thank you for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little look and uh, we will see you in the next video.